Joining us now is the reigning West Coast Conference Player of the Week for men's basketball, Yoli Childs. A belated happy 20th birthday, Yoli. Yeah, dude, not a teenager it. anymore. Appreciate it. Thank you. How do you celebrate the birthday other than almost getting a triple-double? I'm, I'm actually not a big birthday guy. I don't really do anything. I came home, went to bed, another day. <laughs> Did you guys fly out Sunday morning or that night? We flew out that night. Okay. Yeah, so we got that free late. You're flying deluxe now, right? Yeah, it's kind of nice. It is nice. And we get an inside look from EB and J, don't we? Yeah, he's about to get in trouble for that. (laughs) Is he? What happened? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm down low. Yeah, when does your blog start, Yoli? Oh, he's he's got it covered. His is too good. I couldn't compete. Okay, tell us about this Yoli Bryant thing. Your your feelings, your thoughts. Uh, You know, their heart's in the right place. They're trying. But I really don't think we look that much alike. Uh, BYU fans, what do you guys think? Uh, who, who's cuter? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm going to get know. some tweets about this right now, I'm sure. I really don't think we look that much alike. Different numbers. I got an arm sleeve now, but it's all good. It's all good. You, you play different positions. I, I think the combination of the two of you who have emerged as the top two scorers and kind of the leaders on this team, you've, you've almost transformed into Yoli Bryant, who's putting up 40 a game. How do you feel about that? I mean, I, I really do love playing with Eli, though. It's it's such a great thing. He's a phenomenal player. Uh, I just I love the way he plays. It's so fun seeing him score at all three levels and just take over basketball games. So he's so fun to play with, and I'm lucky to, to be his teammate. We've been giving Dave Rose a little bit of a hard time about not leaving you in the game at Santa Clara to get two more assists because it would have been a triple-double on your birthday. Even though you're not a birthday guy, that would have been, like, a pretty memorable birthday, right? Do you have any idea in the moment that you are that close? Or did you, I should ask, in that moment that you were that I close? I did when he, uh, when he came over to the bench and was messing with me. He came over and he's like, yo, you, you always remember that birthday where I took a triple-double away from you. <laughs> so he was, he was pretty funny about it, but it's all good. So in that moment where you're like, wait a minute, I'm two assists away? Yeah, Put like, me back I in? I was like, let me see the, let me see the stat sheet. Oh, all right. <laughs> Seven minutes left. I was like, it's all good. Yeah. That was a great week, too, not just for you individually. And you were off the charts, as uh, we outlined a moment ago. But you get two really good wins. And you put together two of the best halves you've had. The second half against Pepperdine was awesome. The first half against Santa Clara, did you think that you guys would miss? I mean, like 73% or 2% or whatever? 78%. That was was, nuts. It was incredible. It was awesome to see guys get going. It was awesome to see the contributions made throughout our whole team on the the scoring side. Because a lot of guys do a lot of great things that – that casual fan wouldn't notice. Luke, Luke's a phenomenal defensive president out there. Uh, Jashir is, I think, one of the best defensive guards in the country. We've played some amazing point guards, and he's done the best job of anyone these guys have played. So we have guys out there doing a lot of great things. TJ making great decisions. Uh, but a lot of people notice the scoring and the points and, and like the, the stats that show up on the stat sheet. So it's kind of cool to see uh, how, how well it's been spread out the last couple games. We've chronicled uh, TJ's improvement uh, with assists, with rebounds. Steals are essentially the same. He hasn't been shooting it uh, quite the same way. And like you talked about, we tend to focus on that. But does a third guy, maybe TJ, ne- need to be scoring in double figures for this team to be really successful, you think? Uh, you know, I just think guys need to keep making the right reads, and that's what they've been doing. I don't, I don't see it as a first guy, second guy, third guy thing. We just have five great players on the court at all times. And, you know, there's going to be a night where TJ has 30. It's going to happen. He's, he's too good of a player, too good of a shooter for it not to happen. There's going to be a night where Zach has 25, you know. It's going to be a night where Luke has 15, 20 because he's just so good at sealing down in the post and running the floor. So, I mean, I don't see it as one, two, three on the like depth chart, depth chart so to speak. Uh, we just have five great players on the court all the time, and it's going to be someone's night every night. How has this team grown and improved the most from game number one this season to now where we are now at uh, approaching game number 20? I think the biggest thing is trust. Everyone trusts each other. We trust the coaching staff, and we trust what makes us great. We know when we lose a game, we know what it is. We know we talk about kills all the time. I talk about it all the time. And, uh, uh, and our losses, we're averaging like two kills a game. And in the wins, it's closer to six or seven. Three consecutive so, stops on defense. Yeah. So and One kill. Yeah, that's one yeah. kill. So we know if, if we get kills on the defensive side, we're going to win games. In the Santa Clara game, we had 11. Whoa! So that's that's the most we've had, and that's the that's the result. So it's just all about that defensive side, and then on the offensive side, being patient, sharing the ball, making the right reads, understanding. All right, I might get double teamed a lot this game. That means I'm not going to score all the points. 
it's a pick your poison thing and everybody needs to be okay with that. And I think we've gotten so good at that and we've gotten so good at celebrating each other's success. Was 11 kills the season high? Yeah, yeah. What was the next closest one, do you know? Uh, I think we've got maybe eight. <laughs> eight? Okay, yeah. so 11 was tremendous. Gotcha. Um, but every Wednesday, Spencer does a West Coast Conference Player of the Year power poll. Are you aware of this? Have you heard of this? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not aware of that. Are you kidding or you don't actually know? No, I actually don't. Okay, so he's he's had you at a solid number two for Ooh, a couple of weeks. Behind Eli? Behind Jock Landale. What what are your thoughts on this? I'm motivating you. Are you, hey, are you I'm offended? motivating you. Uh, no, I'm not offended. I mean, uh, do you agree Jock's, Jock, Jock's actually a great player. No, you don't ask me a trick question like that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, Jock's a great player. He's he's a load inside. He makes great decisions. Uh, he's in a great system. St. Mary's is a great team. So you know, it's just whatever you want. I think motivating a, Yoli. I think a head-to-head win could sway it next Thursday. <laughs> you think so? All right. Well, I'm not, we'll, not going we'll to speak for Spencer, but yeah, you, you had quite the week. <laughs> yeah, you had quite the week. So you, you have LMU, you have USD this week. Uh, th- this is again a big week, especially as you guys try and uh, continue to press forward uh, and, and see what you can do to challenge the top two. What do you think of the the two games this week? I think every game is important. I think we, we've learned that in the past. We've learned that by slipping up at, uh, at Pacific. And that's just a growing moment for us. And we need to go in with every game with the same intensity because a, a win against Gonzaga or St. Mary's is the exact same thing in the, in the column as a win against anyone else. A win's a win and a loss is a loss. So we need to come in with that with that mindset and the mentality that no matter what happens, we're going to come out with a win. Yoli Childs, the West Coast Conference Men's Basketball Player of the Week with us on BYU Sports Nation. He will not be phased by our trick questions. Dude, I, I know he's 20, but he's acting like he's that 25-year-old uh, it's true. BYU he's senior. You know veteran, what I mean? Like he's, he's got veteran answers now. <laughs> now that he's 20, he's so different. <laughs> Do you feel different now that you're 20, Holy? Catch the new uh, Evie and Jay vlog. He, <laughs> he, 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 he went around and he's asking all the guys, so what do you think about 20-year-old Yoli? So you'll have, you'll, you'll have to see their answers. Oh, I love it so much. What has been the most satisfying part for you in your own personal development from your freshman year to your sophomore season at BYU? I think I've, I've done a lot better job of staying in the moment of a game and not letting – not letting a bad play affect me for the next few plays. I think that's something I struggled with a lot, and I even struggled with at times uh, in this season where something's not going my way, I'm playing bad, and I let that affect uh, the, the way I'm reacting in the, in the whole scheme of the game. And I think I'm getting a lot better at realizing 40 minutes is a long game. There's going to be ebbs and flows. There's going to be ups and downs. So I think uh, just with the support I've had from from our coaches, they're amazing. They, they help me out with all that stuff and and the teammates that I have being able to play with guys like TJ and Luke and Eli that always have my back and, and are always picking me up has helped me a lot with that. So I think I've just grown and, and matured a lot in that aspect. Well, you had a great week. We want to give you the BYU Sports Nation karma to continue your domination uh, Thursday and Saturday. And we want to let you know that of all the autographs on our flag, you are still the tallest and you are ahead of you still have you the are highest. taller than Eric Mika. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Respect for that. Yoli, great to have you with us, man. Thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for having me on, guys. This live afternoon edition, dude. Oh, yeah. You've never done this. It was great.